GVAX is um, a vaccine made of uh, pancreatic cancer cells. Um, it's a whole cell vaccine, which is thought to be more effective in inducing an immune response. It is given with cyclophosphamide, like low-dose chemotherapy, um, beforehand to reduce the activity of the suppressor T cells, which would inhibit a res immune response. So low-dose cyclophosphamide followed by GVAX. The GVAX also, I should say, is a pancreatic cancer cell and engineered to produce GMCSF. So it draws um, antigen-presenting cells to it where it's injected, and then they then stimulate the immune response to the pancreatic cancer cells. The study that's presented here um, is a randomized phase two uh, for patients with metastatic pancreatic cancer. They're randomized to GVAX alone with the cyclophosphamide or um, followed by a second vaccine called CRS-207, which is um, a modified listeria uh, bacteria uh, that expresses mesothelin, which is uh, a protein that's expressed in pancreatic cancer, but not in normal pancreatic cells. So the listeria itself stimulates an immune response, and the immune cells then recognize mesothelin when they're responding to the listeria. So the study showed that um, among the 90 patients, they randomized uh, in a two-to-one fashion, two-to-one to get the GVAX plus the CRS-207 versus the GVAX alone. And the median survival was increased by two months uh, in the patients who got the two vaccines versus the GVAX vaccine alone. It went from about four months to six months, and it was statistically significant.